a number of players that made contributions. Great game from the real deal. John really 34 points. 10 of 17 from the three point line as we mentioned earlier the first player to hit 10 three pointers in an NBL playoff game. And he's with Andrew Gaze right now. Thanks, Steve. John, first player in NBL history to hit 10 three-pointers in a playoff game. It couldn't have come at a better time for the Crocs. Hey, uh, when you've got Hinder and Homicide making statements like they do, I'll let them make the statements and I'll just play, huh? What about the, the, the game tonight? You guys came in here with a clearly a, an up-tempo game plan, run and gun, and it just all fell into place because you guys were knocking down shots. Yeah, look, the last three or four times we've been in this building, they've absolutely annihilated us. We went with the philosophy, we can't be that bad all the time, and it paid off. But if you've been watching us play the last ten games, that's the way we've been playing and we're successful. And when you look at their team... As they see, Can you hear me? Well, we'll get to you in a minute, Corey. We'll just deal with the man right for a minute. But, Johnny, it's a, a hostile environment, and you're coming in this place, but you just guys seem to play with reckless abandon. Oh, look, we've got some game winners on our team, and they come and play tonight. And, hey, we're going back to Townsville. they got a home final. It's going to be sweet up there. And you talk about the next round against the Dragons. You'd have to feel good about them as well because you've beaten them three out of four times. Yeah, but we can't get too carried away. Hey, Gorge will be there. They're probably practicing right now getting ready for us. So, look, let's let's live with this one and get on with it next week. And just a little bit of Crocs history, 17 in, uh, seasons in, in the playoffs, 10 road games. You'd only won one before this. So, statistically, I suppose you're a Jew as well. Exactly. That's Look, you guys bring up all that kind of good stuff, and we just roll with it, and we say, hey, it's got to work into our favour sooner or later. Johnny... What can we do? I know you're fresh off this win, but when you think ahead, I mean, it's great and all, but it's all about winning championships, particularly to man at your age. Must be good to have another chance and get back into that semi-final. Drew, I don't have as many greys as you. I've got a few years left, all right? <laughs> no, well, Johnny, it was a spectacular performance. We're grateful to be here to see it. Congratulations. And are we going to see this same up-tempo style of game in the next series? I hope so, because we're pretty good to watch when we're like that. Just say good day to my kids, Jaron, Carl, Hallie, and my wife, Heidi. Woo, yeah, she can buy some stuff with my playoff bonus now. Well done, Johnny, really. Johnny, really, yeah, congratulations. He's given we might not one. be able to hear this because they're booing, but the Croc Nation, we love it. We love it, Gabe. I told you, anything can happen with one night, right? Whole new season. You feel a love in here? Corey, I don't feel a lot of love, but... You, you seem tonight to really thrive on this hostile environment. You know why? I've never played well in here at all. I didn't rush nothing. I used my teammates. They delivered, which enabled me to get off because the floor was space. And as you can see, I could get to the basket almost any time I put the ball on the floor because I was patient. Thank God for my teammates. John really looked like the John really from a decade ago. B-Rat, everybody played well. And, and at the end of the day, you need your team to perform like we did on the road tonight. And that's true. And you've got a guy like Brad Williamson who, who played a great cameo along uh, Johnny really knocking down those three. None bigger than a minute to go. A point up and Brad Williamson knocks that one down in the, in the corner. I mean, we spoke about this in the pregame. I told you, you know, to get the floor spread, our shooters got a hit. And, you know, I mean, every, the stars were aligned today. I agree. Take my hat off to my teammates. John really did a hell of a job all night. Everybody played well, and fortunately for us, we got the win. And, Corey, I was mentioning throughout the, the, the broadcast your patience. It seemed like you almost had to sacrifice your natural instincts a little bit to get these guys involved in the game. Clearly, it was a, a predetermined approach that you took into this game. We spoke about it a lot. Everybody knows when I get the ball, everybody's going to try to stop me from going. So I really got to be patient. You hear the chant in here? I love it, Gabe. I love it. Well, now that you love it, you've got the Dragons next. Give me a little something on the Dragons. I mean, to be honest with you, they're a very good team. Um, as you can see, we beat them three out of four times. And they beat us three out of four times, and we beat them. You know what I mean? So in a series... It, 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 it's tough. They're a great team. I know they're waiting for us, and it's going to be a great series. Croc Nation, Green Machine, we here. Tone, Rockpool Tony, I know you see me, baby. We here. Corey, thank you very much for that. Wow, what a game. Corey Homicide Williams, 28 points, 11 of 14 from the field. Only managed to get 6 of 10 from the foul line, but I'm sure he will be excused.